Hi guys and welcome back. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to apply worktop edging strip. Now this is the final part of a series of videos which shows you how to do worktops from start to finish right the way through. So if you haven't seen the videos that lead you up to this point, I'll link them up here or here, whatever side it is, and down in the description. And at the end of the video, there'll be a card that pops up that shows you the playlist for all the videos that's got us to this stage here. Like I said, this is the final one. So let's get into it. Cheers. Okay, so we're actually going to be working on this breakfast bar edge here, which is a bit longer than normal, but um, it's the clearest edge that I've got to show you guys and how to work on it. Now you can see that I've got the protection on here, the worktop protection. Now normally this would be enough for what we're doing, but for demonstration purposes for you guys, I'm actually gonna peel it back and then I'm gonna show you how to mask this up. Now I'm gonna be using this product here, which is a spray contact adhesive. I prefer this type, I find it a bit easier to apply. You can use the um, the pot of impact adhesive. I'll put a little overlay picture on here for you so you can see that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be using this, but it's the same process for both. You just apply it to both faces, let it go, to, let it go dry to the touch and then apply it. So I'm gonna peel back this edge and then we're gonna, I'm gonna mask up and show you guys how I mask up and take it from there. I've got that peeled back. You can see this is a lovely clean edge straight off the saw, but what I do wanna do is just take a bit of sandpaper. This is 80 grit on a block of wood. And I just wanna go over that edge lightly just to make sure that it's sanded properly. We don't want no lumpy bits because that might hold it off. So now we've got that sanded, we're happy with that. That's a good clean edge. We're just gonna give it a good dust off, make sure there's no dust or anything that's gonna stop the glue adhering properly. And then we can go ahead and mask up. Now we wanna put our masking tape right on that edge. And what this is gonna do is stop over spray of the glue, but it's also gonna help protect it when we come to trim back on our, uh, when we come back to trim, trim back our ripping. Okay, so that's enough protection for this. Plus we've got the, the worktop protection still on there anyway. Use your own discretion for here. If you've got stuff, if you've got an upstand or whatever, just make sure everything's good and protected because this stuff is a git to get off once it's on there. Okay, so now we're all uh, protected up. What we want to do is get a bit of our edging and we want to measure out and cut maybe 10 mil longer for a second. Now, a good pair of scissors cuts this stuff no problem, as you can see. Keep the spare bit just in case we mess up. What we want to do is we want to hold this on in place and then take our pencil and gently just draw down the back of it because we're going to remove the bulk of the waste to start with. And there we have it. So you can see there's quite a bit of excess on there so we're going to cut that off to start with. Yet again, with our scissors, stay off the line. Don't try and get it bang on. Okay, so that's our edging cut and you can see it's slightly over by a couple of mil but it's not bang on and we haven't got excess amounts to take off. So now we actually want to put the adhesive on itself. Now this is a contact adhesive, so it grabs straight away once it goes on. So the premise of this is you put a coat on the surface that it's going to, a coat on the surface that you want to put on, and then you leave it. It recommends 10 minutes on here, but I like to leave it a bit longer than that. Just you want to touch it and you don't want to stick to it at all. Okay, now when we apply this stuff, what you want to do is you don't want to be erratic with it. You want a nice constant stream on there. And the same with the liquid one. You don't want loads of lumps and bumps in there. You really want to smooth this stuff out. Take your time at this stage because this is what's going to help you further on. 
So I'm going to reposition the camera. I'm going to show you how we spray this onto both surfaces. Okay, so here we go. We're going to get that on. We're going to give it a bit of a shake up first to make sure it's all shook up. We're going to go at a downward angle rather than straight on. And then we're just going to do one continuous strike right the way along rather than doing loads of bits and pieces. Okay, and now you can see that's all nice and coated. Okay, now we want to do it on the other face here, and this is where this bit of cardboard's going to help us because the overspray on this is going to be quite a lot. So we can use this bit of cardboard to our advantage, but same thing again, nice constant spray. And you can see that I'm moving that to go round the bend as it goes on. And that's it. Now you can see we've got a nice even coating on there with no gaps. We're going to leave that about 15 to 20 minutes and let that coat up and then I'll show you how to put it on. Okay, so that's now had about 20 minutes to tack up and um, our hand doesn't stick to it at all. So we know that that's now ready to put together. So what we're going to do is taking our clean edge, our factory edge, we're going to put our fingers on the bottom of it and we're going to line that up with the bottom of the worktop and then we're going to carefully work our way along trying to get this as straight as possible be careful because once this is on it's on it's not going to come back off again so we're going to try and line our edge up like i said fingers on the bottom and work our way along pushing that on as we go Okay, and now with this stuff, this stuff is like an impact adhesive, so it probably will peel off, peel off at that point, but not very cleanly. So what we want to do, we palm around, we want to go along and give that good tapping right away along. Now, if your hands start to hurt on this, you can use a little rubber mallet to tap this on with. Don't use a hammer because you don't want to split this top edge, but we're just going to work our way along, making sure we cover everything. There we go, that's stuck on there. That's not gonna come off now. Okay, so we now need to start trimming this up and we're gonna start with the edge. We're gonna use a Stanley knife for this with a new blade in it, an extremely sharp blade and a block of wood. What we're gonna do is place our block of wood on the top, as you can see there, and we're gonna take our knife on a slight angle and get right in that corner and just gently do a few cuts. Don't try pushing too hard here. You're better off doing gentle cuts, nice and slowly, and then what you can do is just snap that bit back, and that's perfectly flush with the edge now. We will clean that up further, but I'll show you that in a minute. We're gonna turn our attention to this top edge. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna clean up this top edge, and to do that, what we're gonna do is use a file, but we don't wanna keep our file flush like that. We wanna pivot up on a slight angle. You don't wanna go mental angle, maybe somewhere around about five degrees, and what you wanna do is just carefully, file that edge but if I can show you what you want to do is kind of push and break this edge at the same time like so now you do need to be careful here because it will go deep I'd recommend using an old file for this this isn't this is a new one but it will dig its way in if it can do so you want to take it nice and slow nice and gentle don't put downward pressure on your file, almost let your file skate over the top. And then what that's gonna do is just clean the edge. We are gonna go back with a bit of sandpaper later, so don't worry about getting it perfect, but you wanna get this edge down nice and flush. Okay, so now we've got that filed. Be careful, because that's gonna be like a razor edge on there, so don't run your finger along there, because that will be sharp. Now go along, take our masking tape off. That masking tape really just did help us not to scratch the face of this worktop with our file. Okay, so now we've got that all peeled off, like I said. This is gonna be extremely sharp, so we're gonna to need to knock that corner off. So we're gonna use our same bit of 80 grit sandpaper. And what we're gonna do is just go along that edge, 
Now we want to be on about a 45 degree angle here because we're not trying to get flush anymore. We should be flush with the worktop at this point. So what we want to do is just knock that sharp arris off of there. So we're just going to light the sand of the Just have a feel at this point, like I said, be careful, just to make sure there's no sharp bits. There's a bit there. But there you have it guys, that is the edging strip fitted on this worktop. And there you have it guys, so not a particularly hard one to do that one. Things to remember is just take your time, make sure you let that glue go off properly. Be careful for them sharp edges, I mean they really are like razor sharp edges on there. They, they cut you, you know, I've been doing this 17 years and I still cut myself. So yeah, just take your time, be careful with it. Let that glue go off properly. I'm gonna leave it there. Like I said, if you haven't seen the videos up to this stage of how to get to this stage, there'll be a playlist linked here and everywhere else and in the description and all that of all the videos that have got us up to this stage here. So you'll be able to follow through with all of them. I'm gonna leave it there guys. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Cheers.